Hello, this is a demo for the installation and use of the countdown timer plugin for Resolume Avenue and Arena. With it, you can show a countdown clock that's tied to your computer clock. So you can count down to midnight of the current day for all your New Year's Eve DJ sets. Super simple to install and use. First, download install processing. Be sure to use Windows 64 and go and download and install Spout Controls, which allows Resolume to use a processing plugin as an FFGL plugin. By the way, you should donate to the Spout guys. They work really hard and they make a lot of awesome plugins and they're super talented. Anyway, once you've downloaded and installed Processing and Spout, and you've downloaded your FFGL Countdown Timer plugin, from the link that you got sent when you purchased it. Super simple to use. Go to your FFGL countdown timers and you see you have two of these. And then go into Program Files, Resolume Arena 6, Plugins, VFX, and these are the default plugins by the way. Simply drop Countdown Timer your zoom timer in here. Now you have to do a little configuring before they're ready to use. First, you need to make sure that the DLLs are in there. You should see something called countdown timer dot DLL. If you don't, it's no big deal. It doesn't always install with it. Simply go to your spout controls folder, go to examples, processing, Windows 64, go into Spout Box, take your Spout Box DLL, copy it in there, and rename it to CountdownTimer.dll. Or, in the case of Zoom Timer, call it Zoom Timer DLL. In fact, we'll just do that. Delete. Spout Box, copy. copy and it needs to be named the same thing or else it's not going to work and it needs this DLL. Now open up countdown timer PDE and should open in processing and this just initializes everything to make sure it works okay. Hit play. Oh look at that there's an error. The package spout does not exist you might be missing a library. This is a good error to have. Simply go into Sketch, Import Library, Add Library, look for Spout, and Install, and it should run OK. You may have already had this installed. It may already be working OK. I'm doing a demo of most of the most common bugs that you'll encounter. So, run it again, and boom. This is counting down to midnight from 8.37 p.m. Um, I don't care about that. Escape. Okay. So what that does is that makes sure everything is initialized okay. Now, go into Resolum 6. Open it up. And if you go into Sources, you should see, oh, look at that, Countdown Timer. I'll just drop it into here, and you see it has a thumbnail and everything. It may take a second to generate the thumbnail, or you ha might have to do Create Thumbnail. Regardless, just click on it once. It'll take a second to load, because it actually has to start up processing. And as you can see, it's playing it. Now, here's where the fun begins. You can adjust your font, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. One nice thing about doing it this way is it keeps the, um, the aliasing running correctly. If you want, you can hide your hours, you can hide your uh, minutes, you can even hide your milliseconds, show them, whatever. Remember, you can mix this with other video loops. If you want to do uh, some kind of crazy mix, I like Luma is Alpha. 
This is kind of nice. Well, maybe that's a little too dark. There we go. How about that? This might be fun. You know, you can do all you can do all kinds of stuff. Zoom timer works exactly the same way. Drop it into here. Hit it. it. Might take a second to load, and you notice it killed your other zoom your countdown timer. Just the font size. And here you go. You can adjust the fade so it doesn't fade. Or you can toggle the zoom so it doesn't zoom, it only fades. It's your call. If you want, you can show the milliseconds. I don't know, I think that doesn't look super cool. That's your call. You show the hours if you want. I don't know. Once again, this is for you guys to decide what looks best for your sets. Anyway, I hope this helped. Thank you very much.